YouTube, I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Transformers Robot Replicas Barricade. And uh, this figure is very cool. Um, it's a decent figure. It does not transform. Num that's number one. And uh, it's way better than those Transformers R.E.D. figures. I just got to tell you that. Because this figure is sturdy. See? Ain't falling apart in them like that. And it don't got removable parts. But it does. But I'm going to get into it. But those parts are sturdier than the other ones. I got to tell you. I remember in the couple videos I said that those figures were great. They were awesome. Oh, yeah. You should buy it. No. No. You can buy them if you want uh, non-transforming Transformers. Which I'm only collecting just to complete a series. Because I never completed a series. And I just wanted to collect these. Collect this one. This is my first figure that I collected. I'm still going to get the rest of them. Stop asking me. I mean, you didn't ask me. I'm just copying off Javi Dahan. Sorry, guys. I, I, I got carried away. But, um, yeah, don't get those uh, robot replicas. I watched Prime vs. Prime video of him uh, putting away his uh, uh, action figures, and he said he was really not into it. He, I, I, he's right, though. I like the the, uh, the Transformers Prime version of RC, and I saw his video Knockout, and, yeah, those were cool, too. Still not that poseable, but at least they had good detailing, and they were in decent height with each other. They... they, they I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of non-transforming Transformers, because why well, make a non-transforming Transformer if it's called a Transformer? It's supposed to shift and change into either a car or a jet or a plane, anything. It's not supposed to be just a random robot, but people like the robot mode, so I think that's why they made these figures. And I'm talking too much. Let's just get into the review. So this figure is pretty cool. It's way better than those other ones, because they fell apart. I'm sorry. Not all of them, just, they're just in my room somewhere. But this figure has good painting detail. As you can see on his face, his face is very detailed. Looks a lot like the movie. I like the silver, and his eyes are painted red. And, uh, were these accurate? Yeah, I think they were. Yeah, I think he had uh, wings on the back of him. And, uh, yeah, this is accurate, too. And, uh, yeah, this figure is basically very accurate. as has uh, the police part right here. I'm, I don't do cars, guys. I don't do cars at all. But, um, yeah, this part is very detailed, too. He had these little bony fingers in the, in the movie. He had the police thing right here. And, uh, he has a, a lot of parts on here aren't entirely painted. It's just the silver parts and the parts up here. And I don't know what these things are right here. These things right here. I, these things sometimes hinder the articulation, but I'm not going to remove them because they don't look like they're removed at all. No, they are literally molded into the figure. But the back part of the figure isn't painted at all. The only back part of this figure is the feet right here. So his back part is completely clean. Uh, and that's it. So I guess now we can get on to the articulation. Um, he has a ball joint at the head, which lets him look up really far, which is great. Uh, he can't look down. Not at all. Not at all. But he does have good head, great head pivoting. Really good head pivoting. Probably the best I've ever seen in an action figure. And he can look left and right. It gets hindered with the collar piece right here, but uh, he can still look left and right. His arms move out, not at all. His arm is on a, hold on a second. Hold on, hold on a second. Hold on one second. I'm back. And uh, yeah, as you can see, his arm isn't uh, that movable. It's on a Rebel Tech joint, but it's a weird kind of Rebel Tech joint, as you can see. It's like this unusual Rebel Tech joints. You know what a Rebel Tech joint obviously looks like if you were, if you collect Rebel Tech, but this is obviously a Rebel Tech joint. But the joint at the end of it, you see, it has this has a thing right there to keep it on. And usually the original one has dots in it, but I feel like this one's more secure. Why didn't Rebel Tech do this though? Rebel Tech had to do something with this figure. But why didn't they do this on the other figures I got? That's really some bull, like really. But. Yeah, his arm can't move out that much because of these things and that too. But I'm just going to plug that back in. There we go. But yeah, his arm can rotate full 360. And uh, his claw thing right here can hinge in and out only that much. And he has a swivel right here. And uh, he has a waist swivel, which is great. And it rotates full 360. And uh, legs can kick forward that much and can kick back that much. And he does, let me get the arms out of the way. He does have a beautiful spread. <laughs> uh, he has a beautiful spread, guys. See, beautiful spread. But um, he also uh, has Rebel Tech joints here too, which are the exact same thing as what we just saw previously right here. Um, 
and they're much tighter too. They're much tighter too. I had this figure for about a week, and this and uh, this figure uh, is, is very has very tight Rebel Tech joints. These down here aren't Rebel Tech joints, so it just hinges like up here. But um, uh, yeah, it's just pretty tight Rebel Tech joints. Better than the other ones I got before. But um, and there's also slope right here too. And uh, Silva at the ankle on both hinges right here, on, on both hinges right there. Uh, ankles move down, they move up, and he does have ankle pivot. You just gotta turn this right there, and there he does. He has great ankle pivot. And uh, that's it for the articulation and sculpting. Not many really much to say about this guy. Good pain sculpting, okay articulation, not the best. Uh, I gotta be honest with, but the thing about the RED line, they had better articulation though. Just, just bad sizing and bad paint sculpt. All right, but um, now on to the accessories. Actually, I don't even have to uh fast forward. This, he only comes with one accessory. His uh swinging chain. I don't know what this is. I don't remember this thing. If you can see, I don't remember this thing becoming his tire though. You know, it's, it came out of his hand, but. Maybe it did become his tire. I'd have got to rewatch the movie. But, um, yeah, I like that they at least painted this silver. And, yeah, uh, please be careful when you buy this. These things are actually pointy. But, uh, not. They they are flimsy. They are made of a pliable pla. Look, sorry. Splurge. They are made of a pliable plastic. But, also, if you're wondering what that noise is, that's Foxy right there. She's tired. Love your dog, okay? But, um,. Uh, yeah, like I was trying to say, yeah, uh, these things are pliable, but they will poke you. They poke me a lot, and they didn't scratch me, but they just poked me a lot. But, um, you see the tire right here? This does not spin, by the way, that little crease. I thought it did spin. It doesn't. I ha I did try, but I don't want to try pushing anymore, because I think I might break it. I don't want to break it. And there's a ball joint right here, so I guess that's all the articulation. It's a ball joint right there. And, uh, there's a port right there. You can see right there, and also yeah, I gotta show you how this happens. So basically, you just pull off. This works on either either arm. So you just pull off one of his arms, and you just attach. I think it was that arm, but I'm just gonna put it on this one. Attach it to that arm right there, and now he has his a uh, chain wrecking ball thing that he fought Bumblebee with off screen. I'm still pissed at uh, Michael Bay for not really showing i the one thing i don't like about the bay movies is that number one they uh they spend too much time on the humans number two they don't show off all the fights especially with bumblebee we never got a, a fight scene with bumblebee and, and barricade we got an off-screen fight we kind of got yeah like i'm saying in 2007 we kind of got a fight but it was only like a 30 second or 20 second fight and and then and then we obviously know bumblebee won but we didn't get to see how he beat barricade like he make a Michael would probably be like that would be probably too much screen time. We want to focus more on the humans. Yeah, screw off. I'm glad they they re up they updated this. I think maybe Dropkick in the Bumblebee movie was supposed to replace Barricade, but um, I don't know. But uh, hopefully we see Barricade fight Bumblebee in the future. But uh, yeah, that's it. and it has a hinge right here too in the swivel, so you can swing it around, and that's it. That's mainly it for my uh, Transformers Robot Replicas Barricade Review. I'm sorry it was uh, late. Uh, um, late, my bad. I'm sorry it wasn't that long. Uh, it wasn't that much to say about this figure. It's a good figure. Okay articulation. Okay accessory. Um, yeah. So, uh, I guess now you can get on to the size comparisons. Here Barricade is next to... Such Foxy. Here's Barricade next to uh, my previous review. The Transformers Amazing Yamaguchi Rebel Tech Optimus Prime. Still great figure. Uh, better than the other Rebel Techs I got. And these guys scale good together. Optimus Barricade didn't do nothing bad to Bumblebee. So stop pointing at him. And stop looking at your Matrix, please. And that's my review on the Transformers Robot Replicas Barricade. Um, I hope you liked it. Like I said, my bad for it being short. Not really much to say about this figure. It was made back in, like, I don't know, 2008, maybe, or 7. I don't know. But a uh, good figure. Really good figure. Uh, it's the first figure I'm going to review for this Transformers uh, 
robot replica mm. line. And and yeah, the line stopped. I think when Revenge of the Fallen came out. I don't know why they didn't make any for Darker the Moon. They could have made more figures for the first movie and the second movie, but I don't know, man. This was a good figure. Uh, three out of ten. I mean, no, no, three out of five. Only because. Needs more, only because if they did this figure over again, need more articulation and uh, maybe some more sculpting. The one accessory I can understand, because that's the only accessory he had. That gun he had in Dark of the Moon, I am paying attention to the movies. The gun he had in Dark of the Moon, I don't think is necessary. Barricade mainly had this weapon. And uh, yeah, uh, this figure is good. Uh, like, subscribe. Tell me what. Tell me um what you want me to review next time, and I'll think of something. I got a lot of stuff I can review, ever since Christmas happened. But uh, like, subscribe, and uh, tell me in the comments uh that I do a good job or not. And uh, follow me on Instagram and donate to my cash app at legendary at legendary epic gamer, so I can buy more action figures or do good reviews and stuff. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.